The topic of today's video is lag, and I'm going to show you why holding the lag in your downsink could actually be the cause of your slice. So thank you for joining me here in Spain. This golf course behind me is PJ Catalunya. It is unbelievable. I've just finished a four day golf school, which was fantastic. Uh, and we're doing a couple of videos on the course to help you with your golf game. Today, specifically about slicing the golf ball, about how to fix that slice and some concepts that will certainly help you. Now this video is, has come about because of what I've seen over the last few four days. We had a group of about 12 golfers and there were certainly some trends and some patterns that we saw. And as happens with any group of golfers, there were five to six of these golfers really struggling with a slice, mainly with the driver. And what we saw as a pattern was that their concept was wrong about maintaining lag. And that's exactly what we're going to cover in this video. So in this video, you're going to learn about maintaining lag, if it's good or if it's bad, when you should release the golf club, and a drill which is going to help you sense and feel that. So what were these golfers doing? Well, many of these golfers were trying to hit the golf ball further, which many golfers are, but they were trying to do that by maintaining the angle between the arm and the club. So as they termed it, they were trying to hold the lag in the golf club. And unfortunately, they generally were achieving that. They were doing exactly what they wanted to do, but they were slicing the ball way off to the right of the target and they were losing distance. So let's go through why that might be an issue. So if I was to take my starting position to this golf ball now in the middle of the fairway, if I made, let's say, a perfect backswing and a perfect downswing to this delivery point here, so we're going to say, for argument's sake, that this position is absolutely ideal. It's exactly what I'll be looking for. But what these golfers were doing is they were trying to maintain this angle far too long. They were dragging the handle forward of the golf ball. They were opening up the body too much. And as you can see from that face on camera, you can probably see a lot of the club face, meaning that club face is pointing way off to the right. So let me kind of demonstrate that for you and see if we can sort of replicate what they were doing in their golf swings. Now that was a pretty terrible slice. You saw it kind of go low and off to the right, but that was what we were tending to see from these golfers. So they were really misunderstanding holding lag and misunderstanding the concept of that. So here's a little exercise, a little drill that we gave they, those golfers and one that can really help you if you feel this is you. We're gonna get you to take a starting position and we're just gonna get you to go down the handle so you've got your trail hand on the actual club shaft and your lead hand is on the top of the grip. And we're gonna get you to make a little backswing and as you start down, I want you to focus on the grip end of the golf club. Now what these golfers were doing is they were tending to move the grip continually towards the target. And you can see the face is open just like we demonstrated. What we actually wanted these golfers to sense and feel was as they got towards this delivery point, in this little exercise here, the grip started to go upwards, as in more towards me, and actually away from the target. So how would I achieve that? Well, I would actually have to use my hands and my arms. I would have to release that club. And you can actually see the butt end of the club there moving more up towards me and away from the target. Now, what this is actually doing is it's causing me to be a little bit slower with my upper body rotation, which is a good thing. It's allowing me to release the club, which is going to create my forearms rotating back towards where they started. And it's causing the club face to release out, square up, and it's got more speed. When we look at hitting driver or any club for that matter, the kinematic sequence is really important. Now, I'm not really gonna go into that in too much detail in this video, but it's about how the, body fun how the body moves and the segments and when they reach their peak speed. The shoulders will rotate and begin to open, but at some point they begin to slow down to allow the arms to swing and release. These golfers are tending to move the upper body too aggressively, causing the handle to get dragged in front of the golf ball the club head to have really low speed and the face to be open. So not only were these golfers slicing the ball, they were really compromising their ability to create some club head speed. So we're gonna pop another ball on the tee peg. And what we said to these golfers who were you know, creating this move and they had this pattern, was we asked them to make a normal backswing, create this almost this same delivery, but at this point here, almost slow the upper body down and feel as if the butt of the club is going up and back. Now it's not going to have exactly the same movement when I'm gripping it normally, but the sensation, the concept, and the idea is really helpful. So if you're at the drive range, not a bad idea to set yourself up this way, 
get that grip moving up and back, which is really going to feel like you're throwing the clubhead out into the ball. And then when you take your normal starting position, you can go ahead and do that exact same sensation. And if you can do that, you should find, as we said, you're going to get a little bit more clubhead speed, much easier to square the face up, and that's going to result in better tee shots in terms of their straightness, but also a little bit more distance too. Hope that tip helps. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and also give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone who might benefit from this piece of advice. And lastly, if you're not a subscriber, there is a link up in the corner. would love to have you part of my channel, and we can help you play some better golf. Thanks for watching. We'll hopefully see you back here again soon.